Hey everyone, so as you are all aware, I'm pretty sure uh, the storage prices are going really, really high, really, really fast. So uh, SSDs, NVMEs, HDDs, it doesn't matter. And my question is, should you even consider buying used or refurbished HDDs? And the whole point of this material is that I am currently located in Europe, in which, at least for me, it's been pretty difficult to find good retailer of refurbished or used uh, storage devices. And today I actually managed to buy two 14 terabytes Seagate HDDs. Let me show you. So those are 14 terabytes unbranded uh, Seagate HDDs. They are SATA connected, so no SAS here, but their serial number is verifiable on the Seagate website. So you can actually check whether this drive had actually come from Seagate itself. And in the case of those drives, they definitely had come from Seagate, at least telling from the serial number. The actually good part of this deal that I got for those drives, I've actually bought, uh, bought two, is that they come with a year-long warranty and the money-back guarantee that is being provided not by the actual seller but for from the marketplace I bought it on and in Poland it's called Allegro and it's basically our version of Amazon right uh, so let's see if those drives are actually any good this might be a good moment to talk about smart and why its output is not always obvious Smart is a monitoring system included in hard drives, SSDs and NVMEs. It collects low-level data and reports various potential failure indicators. The most common way to read drive diagnostic data would be with Smart CTL. Holy shit, that raw error read rate is through the roof. Does that mean I got scammed? Well, not really. Since those disks are of a Seagate origin, I can use Seagate tools to diagnose and check their health. The program is called OpenC Chest. Let's see what it has to say about our drive smart data. Right from the get-go, we can see that our read error rate is just the number of sector reads, not errors. Some other interesting parameters are start-stop counts and power on hours, both at our surprisingly low levels. It turns out that vendors can treat raw smart values as they wish. It's worth consulting the web to see if they are one-to-one -one or whether you need some special diagnostic software to properly read the data or access undocumented registers for additional info. It seems that those drives could be quite a steal. Let's go back to the lab. So the actual reason I'm interested in those drives is mainly the Ceph server I've built in my previous video on this channel. So if you can see that server is visible right behind me, my laptop is right now on top of it. Uh, and the problem I have with this server is that uh, it mainly has one terabyte, two terabyte drives uh, and it's taking a lot of um, spaces in this enclosure and it doesn't and it's not providing me any significant amount of storage so i thought that it would be better idea to buy over time some 14 terabyte drives and basically fill that server with those uh, and basically provide it with bigger capacity but without breaking any operations so with ceph what is really cool is that i can mix and match uh, drive types and sizes and let me maybe set down this camera so I can mix and match drives types and sizes and basically have a fluid transition from one two terabyte drives to 14 or or bigger and obviously I am using used drives so it's all on me uh, whether they will fail or not but like I said this one year warranty seems pretty sweet so if you have any like sources of getting used hard drives you, would you could recommend, especially in Europe, I would be very, very thankful for that. Uh, I'm actually located in Poland and I will link to the auction I found those drives on in the video description. Uh, but I would say anything in Europe is fair game when it comes to that. So yeah, I guess that's all I have for you today. So 
Thanks and see you next time.